Nothing to worry about today. A ridge of high pressure Quebec side is going to keep the air nice and clean and the air pressure stable as well. We can see 1,012 millibars here, 101.2 kilopascals, or for those who watch the old-fashioned way, close to 29.9 inches of mercury in the barometric pressure as well, which is good news because this means that's a stable even reading, which means the conditions are good from Quebec all the way back towards Sault Ste. Marie, Algoma, including Sudbury Nicolbelt, North Bay Nipissing, back here at home towards Timmins, Cork, and the Iroquois Falls. Fair skies. There are some clouds developing along the Trans-Canada that will be affecting the moonbeam back towards Captain Hurst, Long Lock, Geraldton regions in the vicinity of this big red bar, which is also known as a warm front. Warmer air ahead of it. Winds, as you can see here with the isobars being close together. Winds from the southwest, more or less moderate, about 30 clicks an hour towards the northwest of Ontario, sneaking into about 5 or 10 towards the northeast and, in, and gradually increasing throughout the day today or throughout this evening. So we could see a fresh southwest breeze developing later on this evening. We'll have to find out how strong those winds will be. Now this warm front is going to be here which means increasing clouds gradually towards our region this evening right between the dinner hour and midnight with the possibility of some rain or some rain showers developing in our region and it's going to move eastward at about 30 clicks. It'll be by probably around the Quebec border by overnight tonight. As the temperatures warm up throughout the day today, they'll be rapidly cooled down again as the slow pressure moves out of our region by tomorrow morning getting us a rain snow mix once again uh, for Thursday morning. We'll have to watch out for that development as well. If that happens, we'll keep an eye on things. But for today, I think the radar picture will be clear. It'll be clean. Nothing much to worry about for today. I'll just watch out for the latter afternoon going into the early evening to see if there's anything developing anywhere from Hearst towards Kapuskasing with this warm front and to see if it changes direction or changes uh, its intensity, if you would. I want to thank one of my weather spotters as well. I was told that Nighthawk Lake, Frederick House Lake area along Highway 101 East around the Porcupine region moderate snowfall between 9 and 9.30 yesterday. Pointcast, which is the Weather Network satellite based observation narrowed down by postal code, said the same thing. And this person wanted some information between South Porcupine and Kirkland Lake. Sure enough, there was a whole bunch of clusters of snow with mixed precip that stretched from Cochrane down towards just north and east of Dimmons towards South Porcupine, even over towards the Kirkland Lake region where there was reports of occasional snow on and off. The visibility was a little bit reduced, but the conditions were fair for, to good for the most part. So that's the kind of observation I appreciate. That shows you that Pointcast is accurate with reporting the actual observation, so that's wonderful as well. Uh, some other conditions yesterday too, we did have a sporadic period of snow in some regions that just gradually tapered off towards overcast conditions by midday. And then finally the clouds broke up to sun rays in our region by the afternoon, and it was clear by last night and continued overnight like that. That's the kind of day that we had yesterday, continuous changes every 5-10 minutes and then gradually everyone saw the sunshine. That's your report for today. More details coming up tonight. Have a good day.